Hi Hayden. This video is for the 6A time. You have two homework this week, the merry-go-round and the fox hunt, which is a new one. And um, one of the things before you move on to working on the fox hunt is that you actually learn how to play the 6A rhythm with the metronome going for every dotted quarter. And um, I think um, I kind of uh, yes, I, I, I did uh, all options for practicing the merry-go-round and make sure you got that one first. Don't move to the fox hunt until the merry-go-round, uh, th that whole rhythm thing is worked out. So you do have to practice. I, I, um, I've noticed that you play much better if you have the metronome going for every eighth note, but th th this week your challenge is to make sure that you play equally well when the metronome is going for every dotted quarter. Um, so I'm just going to jump over to, um, well, let me, uh, I'm going to do the 208, which is a maximum on a maximum speed um, on my metronomes. Um, that as is often the case with these mechanical things, they don't go any higher than 208. I'm going to say uh, it's close enough to 210. So I'm going to play the merry-go-round once at 210. 208 and then I'll go I'll drop the tempo down to 70 I may not have a 70 I have a yeah 72 uh, in that case I'll probably do a 72 okay one two three four five six one two three four five six So that's at 208 and um, okay now I will do the uh, metronome at 72 which is you know within the, uh, somewhere in the middle of the suggested tempo because the tempo they want you to play for every dotted quarter 60 to 80 um, so you know the goal is to again be able to play with the metronome and you're going to hear the metronome for every dotted quarter one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one. So that's you know um, at 72, and 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 you have to be able to play it with that accurate triplet increment in between. And actually, I was going to suggest you um, this exercise, which kind of brings it. Um, um, how do you say it you you have a chance to engage like the bigger muscles of your body and you know one, one thing um, Leonard Bernstein the Bernstein the very famous com, um, conductor said rhythm is the dance aspect of your music and um, dance is using your whole body t with the music um, to to you know and um, you know I guess you know um, you know, I, I wonder if you ever, you know, watch ballet. The ballet dancers, the really good ones, are always very good at matching their whole movement and feeling the music, like in, like a sort of expressing the music with their body. And um, there is something similar that you might want to do with this, um, um, with this, uh, what was it? So I was going so one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So as you clap in threes, you I want you to bob down. So I guess you can't really see me doing this um in the picture because it's just on the keyboard. But I'll just do you know, 
and I want you to bob down, um, bend your knee at one. So one, two, three, 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 one, two, three. And by doing that, um, you know, it's, it's like a mini squat, not re really because you're not spending any time on it. It's really just a little bending of the knee. It sort of helps you realize um, and really feel where the one is. And one, two, three, one, two, three. Um, you know, I think, you know, rather than moving, moving your upper body in any other way, I think bending the knee is the best. So I recommend you to do that on your free time away from the piano. That is the really, really strong, um, you, know, you know, I wrote down in your instruction sheet, right? So yeah, like if it's a three, eight time, it's a one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And then it's a, in a six, six, eight, there is a, you know, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, two, two, three, one, two, three, two, two, three. You have that, you know, the bigger rhythm group as opposed to the smaller rhythm group and then the next one is nine eight time right there's one two three two two three three two three one two three two two three three two three one and uh two and uh three and uh, like that and then there's a 12 eight time these are all actual time signatures you will find music that use them and then the 12 eight is one two three two two three three two three four two three one a la two a la three a la four a la one a la two a la three a la four a la and um try that i really really urge you to try that whenever you have time so that you actually have get that idea of combining the three the triplet triplet count one and uh, two a la, that thing and you can count count any which way um, I just like to do um, one, two, three, or one a la, and forget about the four, five, six. You know that's just impossible. I do n I, I never count any anywhere. I never use any number beyond four. Four is big enough. And so um, yeah, try that. Try that, and then that might help you feel this six eight time. And um, the and the six eight time signature is always used for like a dance inspired music. Um, Maybe, yeah, uh, I'm, yes, yeah. Okay, so uh, based on that, let me just play the fox hunt one time and I will um, play with the metronome. Okay, I'm going to play at the fast end. Um, at, it says, you know, maximum tempo at 108. And let me play at 108. One, two, three, dun, da, dun, da, dun, da, da, di, da, da, di, da, 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 da. maximum tempo that they're recommending and I've actually had no student who could actually ever play at 108 and I don't recommend anybody to do it because you're going to wind up playing inaccurately and behind the tempo but you know it it has a completely different feel if you go up to 108 50 is going to sound so completely different but you know that's you you everybody should be starting at 50 though um so so that's um, so uh, I, you know, we'll, we'll see how, um, we'll work on the fox hunt after you've completely um, gotten um, used to the metronome. Um, this fox hunt is not that well suited for practicing the, you know, all the different met metronome settings, whether you're, you know, like, you know, going back and forth the eighth note and then the dotted quarter. Um, so, you know, spend most of your time on merry-go-round practicing all the tempo that I wrote, uh, that, that I wrote in your instruction sheet, starting at 180 for every eighth note and 60, the corresponding time as a dotted quarter is a 60. Make sure you get that done and be able to play well. And then after that, you do 189 and 63 on the dotted quarter. And then 198 and 66, do that. And then 210 and 70. All that needs to be done 
it's um, you know if you can't do it the fox hunt is going to be hard or at least it will not come across will not be you know you will not play it well enough so um, yeah work on those um, but you know try that thing where you're counting one two three one two three and on one you bob your knee one two three one two three one two three another thing yeah you you can possibly do this if you don't feel like bobbing up and down and if you get tired you can do one two three one two three one two three one two three that could be done too anything that involves like a bigger muscle group so that you actually feel the rhythm rather than you know trying to think too much about it it's something that you really have to engage physically okay so keep on practicing bye